Hi Aquarius, welcome to Bear Food Mama Intuitive Reading. This is your reading for June, um, or whenever you come across it. So thanks for being here. You can join my Patreon for $5.55 a month. It's free um, for the first week, and I just post there like once or twice or three times a month. I don't know, just kind of whenever. So there's just free content, and it's a good way to support me, um, or book a personal with me on Etsy if you like my content. So if you're here, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and you can enter to win a free reading on 7-7. By putting free reading in the comments. Um, I'll announce the winner of the June reading today or tomorrow. The Holy Mountain Reverse <clears throat> is coming out for you. 25. Um, your birthday might be the 25th of January. Um, you might be like a Capricorn Aquarius cusper. Or the 25th of February even. Okay, what is the Holy Mountain Spirit? Please protect this reading. This is you. Um, send any negative energy back to sender, transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none. Archangel Michael, please bring clear, concise messages through from my Aquarius collective. And Mother Mary, please bring compassion to these messages. Also, Kali, please cut any karmic cords to the past, past versions of ourselves, past versions of other people. Um... And send those energies to the karmic planes where they can finish their karma without being in our lives any longer. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So mode it be. Thank you for being here. Nine of swords. Okay. All righty then. Aquarius, in your past energies, you have the queen of pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, you have the fool in your present energies. You're embodying yourself. Um, your leap of faith and you have the nine of swords in your future energies just for this month so i want to read this holy mountain reverse um because this is your overall card for the reading and then we'll dive in more deeply i'm hearing also and this is kind of how these readings have been going um for the month th this is your pentacles or your finances this is your inner self your spirit your relationships and this is your like spirit connection um your advice so Let's see. The Holy Mountain. You could be 25 years old. Your birthday may also be the 7th of um, February, sorry, or 2-5. Native peoples around the earth recognize mountains as places of great power, where one encounters spirit or where the gods or goddesses reside. In ancient Greece, Mount Olympus was the home of the 12 main gods and goddesses. In Tibet, pilgrims circumambulate Mount Kailash, to bring prosperity. In Peru, pilgrims climb the ice-capped Mount Osangate, I think that's how you say it, to receive the starlight and bring fire to the earth. The medicine for this card, when the holy mountain shows up reversed, it is time to be active. Do not let your doubts deter you and keep you bound. That's your nine of swords here. This is a time to leap over challenges and to remember that from the top of the mountain, there are no obstacles, only beauty, and an un unobstructed view of the entire earth. And there's no need to go shopping for the right hiking boots or camping equipment to climb the holy mountain. You already have all the gear you need. Overcome any lethargy, indolence, and laziness, as these are the real obstacles. I don't know if I agree with not having the right gear to go hiking. <laughs> as somebody who grew up in the mountains, I would say have the right gear. <laughs> but don't don't like i can't tell you how many people came up to I, I i'm from tahoe originally and like i can't tell you how many people would come up on vacation just thinking i'm gonna go climb the mountain and like they don't you don't when you ascend a mountain um in elevation it could be super sunny right but there's still snow up there and conditions you know they get cold like radically as you go up in elevation i don't know why this is standing out necessarily but the advice on that card was like you don't need the right gear so i don't think it was just i just don't think it was a good metaphor <laughs> where you're at aquarius with the fool though is like you do have what it takes this is confirmation from spirit you have what you need um so if there are any thoughts like that getting in your way like you're obviously a really practical thinker um what i love about aquarius is, is they have an ability to dream the dream and then do the dream like they get it done they have they get all of the things in order there a lot of the aquarius as i know also though they're like overthinkers right you have the nine of swords here um 
they're the kind of people who like it's almost like a Capricorn and an Aries like combined because Aries is like really Martian they get it done they go forward but a Capricorn is like investigate investigative um investigative and they like just need to know all the details and plan and it's like Aquarius has that plus the the flow of like the jellyfish but you're like an air sign there's this you just have this way of getting things up off the ground um that no other sign does and i feel like you're doing that but there is definitely something in your thought space that's making you feel like i can't do it or i don't i don't know if i'm ready you fully are you're here okay let's dive in so what's this queen of pentacles in your finances for june aquarius the five of cups the five of pentacles reversed okay i didn't really shuffle that well that was in the end of libra's reading um five five so changes changes to your pentacles because of emotional stuff um you are nurtured you are like provided for you are stable you are secure especially in the heart space sorry if that was loud it's like right next to the mic um And anything emotionally that made you feel, like, unworthy recently or in the past, um, I see you moving on from. Could have been dealing with, um, a Capricorn or something in Capricorn season, like, so end of December, January, um, or you could have been dealing with Scorpio. So any, like, basically anything through last like fall to this january i feel like or even to february because you're here that could have just been a really tough time for you like financially um and or emotionally rather and even if you were doing well financially it didn't really like reflect in your your general overall attitude yeah the empress reverse um dang even libra season you may have had to like pay something out in Libra season of last year that left you feeling like damn I wish I hadn't had to do that or like I don't know what it made you feel just um I feel it made you it made you not feel good for one you have the five of cups and the empress it made you feel like you weren't worthy of receiving something but temperance is here with the five of pentacles reverse. I don't know why temperance wants to show itself here. Five of swords reverse. This is you reverse. Okay. So the empress reverse with the five of cups could mean like you were trying to conceive and you weren't able to, or you maybe you had a miscarriage. That so I, sh I should have said trigger warning, but my heart goes out to you, if that's the case. That's never an easy thing to um, endure. And I feel like there's some aspect of your thoughts that made you feel like it was your fault. And it doesn't have to be like that specific situation. It could have been something like you were trying to get a business up off the ground, or start some sort of new financial endeavor like you saved up to like start a business or something and you invested in it and it didn't didn't necessarily pan out the way you thought it was going to and you've really had to temper your yourself all around here the five of swords the five of pentacles the five of cups five 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 might be significant to you um, as a as a confirmation for this message going forward but the hard stuff is done with the holy mountain at the center of your reading and this new leap of faith <clears throat> what is this temperance card please spirit victory in your financial space okay that's good the six of wands that's awesome what is going on with the finances in June temperance and victory you could have been having some emotional like setbacks from feelings of insecurity or 
feelings of worthlessness, like things that you were telling yourself about like, like your self worth. It made it, it may have created some like creative blockages for you and you're, you're overcoming those this month. Aquarius. Yeah. Strength. Holy moly. Cool. Yeah. You're having the strength to overcome those. You're taming the lion. I'm hearing Daniel in the lion's den. Um, you're able to reach into the mouth of the lion without fear here and not not like entering this leap of faith without fear is what's going to make you successful, right? Victory. Um, I tell people often like a, a metaphor I use is like cliff diving. Like if you're going to jump off of a cliff into water and you second guess yourself at the last, the last second, right? You're going to, um, you're going to make a wrong move, but your body knows your intuition knows if that's something you've been working on and practicing, right? Like what to do. So don't let your mind get in the way of this because your mind getting in the way, nine of swords here in your advice is what's going to like create that fumble. Um, it's going to interrupt your instinct. Your instinct knows what to do. You might be a dog trainer, the fool. Okay. What's the fool in your relationships? The eight of pentacles reverse the magician reverse. Something in your job situation might not be um, working out, but that is like a blessing in disguise. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, your job might give you like a lot of anxiety, like more than you even knew. Um, and if your job situation isn't working out or like you might have with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, some like perfectionism that is um, coming to light here in in june and it's in your like relationship space that this becomes apparent somehow how is this becoming apparent in relationships three of pentacles oh because like you are a master at what you do and other people tell you that all the time but you still have this like crazy anxiety um about about your work performance So your work actually might get in the way of your relationships um, in general. And you might prioritize your work so much that you're like really, really, really good at it. But, um, but you, you like don't know anybody outside of work or you're not hanging out with anybody outside of work. Death reversed. The king of pentacles reversed. Judgment reversed. Scorpio, Scorpio. Energy. Capricorn and Taurus and Virgo. Judgment reversed and death reversed. Laying something to rest, not laying something to rest. You're not wanting to lay something to rest. Knight of Wands reversed. I'm getting the sense that like a job is done. The work is done. <sighs> this could be somebody at work who just doesn't know when to quit. Like, that's what I'm hearing. You don't know when to quit. And it might not be you, although this is clearly showing me that you, like, you bust your butt. You might be that person who stays at the office later than everybody. You come in early. Um, and you might be hoping for a promotion. And I think that the the promotion if you're hoping for promotion it like doesn't come through and you're like oh man well i'm really good at what i do i'm going to apply somewhere else um but it might mess with your head for a moment like it might really mess up your self-esteem for a second but you have this temperance here i don't know i went to the i went to the relationship part of the reading and it went straight back to your finances like you i don't know so you might read you might watch the libra reading because there was something there was a lot in libra's reading about um like money uh and how it influences our relationships so you might be dealing with a libra or somebody at work um but in your relationship space yeah this magician reverse was in the same sort of position for them and then we had those two cards, the five and five, right? It's sort of similar to theirs. 
what is this in the relationship space? Oh, okay. Temperance reverse. I see that like in relationships, um, in the past or even in the present, some lack of like prudence in your finances may have caused like emotional burdens in your connections with others it either on your behalf or on somebody else's queen of pentacles shows me that you're probably pretty balanced in your pentacles and maybe whoever you were dealing with like wasn't king of pentacles reverse like your divine counterpart right um and if you're the masculine uh, you could be sort of feeling like the reason something didn't work out in the past was because like you didn't have enough money or something um temperance reverse though is telling me like that's not the case judgment reverse death reverse like no you're you're good in that sector um if something wasn't meant to work out like the empress reversed five of five of cups like it just wasn't and and you're learning some really maybe intense lessons from this with the strength card but you're having victory over this with the six of wands and temperance here Ten of Wands, Sagittarius. So you have Temperance twice with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands. You could be dealing with Sagittarius, um, or some. You have Sagittarius in your chart, maybe. Um, the Ten of Wands tells me that you're ending out a cycle of like taking on too much. Um, maybe, maybe you take on a lot at work in order to avoid. Oh, that's in, in order to avoid other people or like socializing with other people or meeting other people death reverse judgment reverse there's an opportunity for you to step into a new way of relating to people um and it's going to be a little bit difficult with temperance reverse and the 10 of wands it's because maybe you have a temper You, yeah, you might have a temper or you might be dealing with somebody in the love space who has a temper. Um, but I'm seeing that. So I want to know, like, how can this sort of relationship dynamic with others change if it's meant to? The Knight of Pentacles. Gifting. You might be like a craftsman, like somebody who makes things physically. Um, with the Three of Pentacles here. You might gift somebody something. Gifting might be your love language. Um, giving and receiving of gifts. So if you were in a relationship in the past, like where you two didn't speak the same love language, for instance, um, it could have definitely caused issues, right? Like with the Five of Cups and the Pentacles reversed here, like this person might have been more um, of a quality time person like they they wanted to spend more time but you're the kind of person who like you go to work you you know bust your butt and then you come home and you just want to like chill um but you give gifts because you know you work hard and you're able to like afford to do that um and i don't know there was just a disconnect between you and this person in terms of in terms of love languages and and like values um so you're able to better understand what your values are in relationship and how to offer that and how to receive that similarly and it's totally okay i think like i think that in terms of relationships people often find that or we like to deny sometimes like how important it is for us to feel nourished or nurtured by the receiving and giving of gifts um or like you know by i don't know this is like opposite libra's reading so yeah maybe check out libra's reading if you have libra in your chart because their reading was basically about like if you if you feel like you're not enough to be in a relationship because you don't have enough money like that's that's bullshit like that was their reading and yours is almost like the opposite it's like in order for you to feel secure in a relationship you have to feel like you can give enough and you also have to feel like that person is able to give enough to you and that's okay no judgment either way oh look we have the queen of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and the nine of pentacles to clarify that yes 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 
yes <laughs> you need somebody in your emotional space like who's financially secure um or you're dealing with somebody who also needs that like i don't know so the nine of swords here with the king of pentacles reverse yeah this this could be you being like like i don't really need anything but the person you're dealing with does um but i i, I don't know i think it's kind of like a equal give and take here like you are realizing that you need to be secure in your own self and this is attracting to you somebody who is super secure in themselves as well also extremely nurturing extremely giving this is the the married woman of the tarot right and then the king of pentacles is here but he's reversed there's something also about your um your self-talk or your anxiety that may be interrupting this sort of uh expression of you as a king of pentacles you may have been in a connection with somebody who they left you for somebody with more money um and this is making you like this is just maddening I don't blame you. That's awful. Um, but I see you totally leveling up. I see you just really focused on your abundance, on your self-worth. And if you're single, on how to embody this sense of like, just feeling nurtured and being secure and, and loving what it is that you do. I think that this is more important for you at this time than connecting in a love relationship or in a um, romantic connection, especially with the Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like you might look at uh, relationships right now as a bit burdensome or at least romantic relationships, right? You have Temperance here and Temperance Reverse with the King of Pentacles Reverse because you just want, you want a King of Pentacles or you want a Queen of Pentacles. You want your divine counterpart. Like you don't want to waste your time um, with some, you had the Knight of Wands kind of showing up reverse um in the shuffle earlier like you don't want to waste your time with some person who's just in and out and just looking for a good time and like a just a one night stand you're like no i'm 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 solidly good off that like i don't i don't need that so what is the um nine of swords here and the spiritual connection and the advice there's <laughs> there's that knight of wands reversed <laughs> you're like no I, i'm good i don't need that Um, you, I don't know if I want to say that spirit. Is there a way that that can come through in a different way? Um, you might've been dealing with a person who like they came in for a one night stand and they left you with something you're going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. Um, that's the best way I can put that dang aquarius you've been going through it this year that pluto transit that pluto into your sign has just been my poor aquarius collective i feel for you all i'm so sorry we're gonna get some positive messages for you because this is bullshit i feel on your behalf i had pluto i'm scorpio um sun and i was dealing with pluto for the last what my whole life <laughs> so i'm sorry and i have a lot of like pluto like transit stuff in my chart and it, pluto energies are rough man but they teach us just these incredible just valuable diamond making lessons like coal into diamond lessons and i'm not saying it's easy but i think if anybody can get that that shit off the ground is what i'm hearing it's aquarius so let's go let's see seven of pentacles reversed okay cool so that previous message is like for one of you four of wands reverse okay um so what i'm hearing is try not to like rush into anything um if you're dealing with like sleeplessness especially around a lost connection with the four of wands reverse and then the empress reverse and this like opposing dynamic with the queen and king of pentacles um you obviously know like a one night stand's not gonna like patch that wound um spiritually too like 
if you're having like your Saturn returns or something, or you're, you're wanting to co-create with spirit, you might be wondering right now, like if it's worth it, because it could be causing you like a lack of sleep. You could be like having actual, um, encounters with like astral beings or like you know, shadows, like, in the corner of your room, like, stuff like that. Obviously, if you need to see somebody for those sorts of symptom symptoms, I'm just a tarot card reader, and I, I think that all of us could use all the help that we could get, and there's no shame in talking to somebody um, who's a professional and dealing with things like that as well. Um, so please do seek help if you're experiencing anything like that, even just insomnia or, you know, even just talk therapy is, is just, it's magnificent. We could all benefit from that. But this is you being like, just wanting something solid and, and feeling like it's not coming through somehow. You're just like, ah, and, and what I'm hearing with the seven of pentacles reverse is like, it just, it needs more time, it takes more time. You got to give it more time. And of course we don't like to hear that from the universe. Um, four of pentacles. Yeah. Focus on securing yourself. Focus on securing your um, Nine of Pentacles, your self-nurturing, your self-love, and stabilizing. The Four of Pentacles is all about stabilizing, um, just getting that roof over your head, making sure you're fed. If you have kids, obviously making sure they're fed, like just, just paying your bills, you know, just the basics. Um, nine of Wands. And if somebody hurts you, this particular combination in in multiple decks has come out for the last like four readings um the nine of wands and the four of cups reverse if you have resentment that you've been dealing with um this june is going to be the time when you're allowed to finally let it go with a four of cups reverse and and finally pick up like that fifth cup right and just be like all right i'm turning around to get my two cups now i'm over this i'm over the shit <laughs> i'm hearing i'm moving on Moving on, um, the Ace of Cups reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. What? Um, I was like tempted to move on to a different deck, but I was like, you're going to get the same thing. So maybe that's how you're feeling spiritually this month as well. Like you want to move on to new lessons, but like until this one sinks in about taking care of yourself first, self-care first, loving the self um these are you right the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups these are your like number one i take care of my bag i take care of my emotional self like i've got to do that in order it, you know, in order to pour from my cup it has to have something in it right um in order to give from my coin purse it has to have something in it coin purse that's an interesting word that wanted to come through maybe you actually have a coin purse that's really cool um Anyway, ugh, I feel like you're just kind of stressing, like feeling like you need to be kind of further ahead in life than you are feeling like, man, I've just wasted all this time, like on this relationship or like this job that freaking fell through or whatever. Um, or even with temperance showing up, I don't know. I really, I, I like, I fiercely get the impression that you were dealing with like a flighty Sagittarius that just took off. Um, and that is so very like a Sagittarius, like, oh, you're not going to let me. I love Sagittarius. Uh, I have no like anything against them, but it, a Sagittarius is going to do what they're going to do. They're going to do what they want to do. And if you try to like tame that fire, they're going to just straight up burn you. Um, and so I feel like you're you're just getting grounded after whatever this encounter was with whoever this person was and spiritually you're feeling a little bit depleted and i think you're feeling a bit betrayed by spirit this month um or at least with what you've been dealing with as pluto's moved into your sign right you're like what is this um how are we going to get through this for the aquarius collective this june um spiritually how are we grounding these energies in the material compassion Ooh, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Wow. This is massive, like, divine feminine healing. You have the Empress reversed here and then Temperance. 
um, and you have the three queens. You have the Queen of Pentacles twice, um, the, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So you're grounding yourself in the material, in, in nourishing yourself materially, fundamentally, in your body, right? Like taking care of your body and maybe a starting exercise, like routine, um, noticing what you eat, spending money on things that are like actually nourishing to you. And you're doing this through compassion. So like body awareness, emotional awareness, just really being mindful. Um, and then, yeah, mindfulness with the Queen of Swords. She is, she is, she usually, at least in the traditional tarot, she has the, I'm totally blanking on the words right now, prayer beads. What are these called? Mala beads, mala beads um, on her wrist. So she has both mercy and um ferocity here she knows she knows when to like tell somebody to get out of her life she knows when to tell like, her thoughts to chill like the nine of swords you're mastering your thoughts right now and she's super clear on in her vision on what to do where to go how to do it she's also connected in the crown space her crown is open her crown chakra is open and it has these butterflies which, which talks about the transformation of the crown chakra so your crown is going from being heavy to being like flowing to being fully energetically like open. You're having a crown chakra opening right now and it's aligning these things, the, the material, the emotional and the mental. Um, these things are coming into alignment. So anything that has shifted out of your life, um, especially since like Libra season of last year is aligning this month so that you can plant these seeds, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Coins. It doesn't feel aligned yet, but I feel like the healing of your divine feminine, um, your ability to receive, your ability to feel compassion for yourself, um, especially if mistakes have been made or if, again, you've been blaming yourself, like I didn't have enough money or I didn't say the right thing or I, you know, whatever happened with this person or these people or this situation, this job, whatever, you have the um, strength to overcome this. And also strength. She's a divine feminine, right? In the major arcana um, for Leo. So you might've been dealing with a Leo too. Some fire sign, some fire sign. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Maybe your June reading will just be called some fire sign. Um, but you're massively healing your divine feminine and it's allowing you to be receptive um, to spiritual energies, the holy mountain. That's interesting. It's like you've made your pilgrimage. It's all downhill from here. You did it. You made your pilgrimage and it's all downhill from here. Woo! The moon. The hermit reverse. And the king of cups. And the hierophant reversed. Okay. So some sort of spiritual download might have left you a little bit like overturned as well this month or it will be and um this is to allow you to balance your emotional space you have the king and the queen of cups balanced by logic in the queen of swords right so you're observing some high anxiety this month because you're navigating complex deep emotions that are coming up from some complex deep subconscious space especially around spirituality and religion and how um, how to proceed in a way that may be non-traditional to the one that you were raised in, like the traditions you were raised in or non-traditional traditional, um, in terms of your, like just in general, your belief system. It might, it might not be something that a lot of people around you practice. Or you might be feeling like your values are non-traditional in terms of relationships and you're able to communicate this clearly to avoid any like sort of this stuff happening happening again and it's from going out and socializing with other people there's definitely something here in your reading about like being avoidant around that like you might have like agoraphobia or something um you just spend a lot of time inside your thoughts might be really getting the better of you because you just have been spending so much time like working um, and working on your pentacles and stuff that you haven't really like gone out to socialize. Yeah. 
but I see that in going out to socialize, you're potentially meeting this divine counterpart. Anything else, Spirit, for Aquarius? Two of Swords, the Moon reversed. Oh, okay. So what's coming out is is like you're realizing how closed off you've been in your heart space. Like you've had some sort of blindfold on. Um, and Swords reversed. The Nine of Pentacles. You've had some sort of blindfold on about being single? Like, do you want this? Maybe you feel more security in being single? Like, maybe there's a reason you prefer to be on your own, and it has to do with, like, your peace, preserving your peace. Which is normal. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Huh. I'm hearing, um... When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Death. Wow. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Three of Wands reverse. King of Wands reverse. Three of Cups. Non traditional. You might be the kind of person who just wants to, like, be single and chill with your, um, your friends. And relationships are not really where it's at for you. Spiritually, you might want, to, like, a coven. You might want to find a coven. Um, King of Wands reverse, Three of Wands reverse, and Death. You're transmuting some sort of energy... Death goes into rebirth, right? I'm hearing by giving, though. Like, by giving. Nine of Pentacles. Like, you might be really secure where you're at, but there's something where there needs to be, like, an exchange of energy. Your troubles are coming to an end with the Three of Wands reverse. But, like, in order to open your heart space, of course, there needs to be an exchange of energy. Um, you might be in a committed connection with somebody and you want to like maybe let some fresh energy in you might want to like i don't know experiment with a third party with the um three of cups and the five of, i'm sorry the hierophant reverse that's certainly not for everybody um <sighs> death and the end of your troubles and king of wands reverse there's also like i feel like the more that you get out to um socialize with people the less like fear you're gonna feel with the ten of swords reverse i feel like you're gonna realize more and more like oh wow i really do kind of like have it more together than i thought with the nine of pentacles i'm a lot more grounded than i thought um i just spent like too much time alone in my head and it was like weirding me out um, which is, that'll do, right? Loneliness is, like, really, really difficult for humans to endure. It's, I think it's more, it's, it's, like, harder on your body or your heart or something than even, like, smoking. I don't know. That's just, like, some weird, you know, thing on the internet. I heard, don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Um, look it up. <laughs> don't believe me. Um, but the King of Wands reverse tells me that you might still not trust your own actions, at this time like you're learning more from other people like you're you're enjoying hanging out with other people and seeing what they're doing and i think learning a little bit more about yourself and what makes you feel emotionally good and stable and secure and like what makes you feel like like you have been given compassion from the people around you um you may not even know what that is right now i feel like you were deeply deeply wounded um or you went through a situation that just straight up turned your whole everything upside down, major changes, um, and created this like extreme anxiety for you. And you're overcoming that this month. Judgment reverse. Judgment reverse is telling me that you're having to look back on what happened in the past with compassion because compassion here and then see it clearly. The past needs to have compassion to, to have it seen clearly. 
and you may be extremely resistant to this because the nine of wands this guy's face is like yo you really hurt me and you can f off like that's how i feel about that right now so this is like the big challenge for you this month um is to allow yourself to release that resentment um through an understanding of compassion and even with gratitude even like thank you for the experience look at me now look at me and my perspective and my sweet pentacles and how secure i am like you're right that needed to happen um there's some release of the ego here with death yeah that allows you to become very emotionally stable and very mentally clear yeah and it's definitely through the release of that resentment through compassion thanking the past for the lessons it gave us so much easier said than done but i think that you can do it aquarius let's pull one universal truths card for you and then we'll close this reading out if you've made it this far please remember to like the video and subscribe it really helps my little channel grow and i love reading for all of you so let's get it done okay inspiration and divinity oops sorry to be inspired is to be consciously connected to our higher presence. This facilitates an ability to pry aside obstacles that keep us disconnected from our potential and power. Inspiration is passion meeting purpose, a heavenly application joined with human manifestation. Higher authorities are infusing us with a fire that ignites the heart. We become magically motivated, whereby we are imbued with hope and happiness. This feeling is a spiritual stimulus that is exalting, exciting, and extraordinary. It is an energy that moves within us to activate a moment through us. We receive an enlivened invitation that is jetted by a universal life force. Our mind, body, and spirit then take flight. Remember, inspiration is not to be analyzed, so no threat of it become par becoming paralyzed. Divinity is the union of our human and heavenly nature, whereby our personality and soul walk hand in hand. Being divine is a discipline, interacting with no hidden agenda. It is a reverence to all of life, we make decisions with the expectations that our prayers will be answered. Feeling divine generates ascended thoughts because it is a knowing we are one with the universe and all its splendid potential. Divine planning holds the vision of wonder and wellness for tomorrow, thereby creating a more exhilarating today. To behave divinely is to be aligned with the forces of the higher frequencies. We live with the consistent consciousness of activating our heart and deactivating our ego. This truly makes for an earlier heaven divinity enraptures all that is happy, hopeful, and harmonious. Yeah, so you're definitely having an awakening, and I think that awakening is allowing you to let go of, again, that resentment, some ego stuff, and to really step into, like, inspiration and, and divinity and this holy mountain. Like, you've done that work, and it's time to look back and see that that's what occurred here, and, and to really love the gifts that come from that acknowledgement and that intention so I hope this what resonated. I hope this helped. If it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week.